Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly? I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. How did Gian Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Gian Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kandris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we call them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. 
Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. <laughs>